my hair. I should do a video about my hair. The struggle about my hair. The struggle. My hair just looks like a... on together with Amaz. So in today's video, I will be talking about how to stay motivated. I'm just going to give you guys some advice. Today's going to be a little chit chat video. Um, I won't be long, but I am currently, I think I've said this before in a few other videos, but I said before that I am in my second year um, of my master's program. I am taking my master's at Tyndale, which is a seminary, which is just for a Christian academy, Christian school. And so I get to study my degree my master's degree which is um what am i studying clinical counseling so being a counselor being a therapist um and then that's in combination with um christian theology so interpreting the bible um learning about the old testament the new testament so that's pretty much the other side of it so they call it seminary because it's your degree your master's included with i would call it a degree so a master's degree put together. It's really hard. Being that I have been, seeing that I've been in school for, this is not my seventh year in post-secondary education. So people, you know, when I talk about, you know, what are you doing, Shanika? Oh my gosh, you're not married yet. Oh my gosh, no babies yet. Oh my gosh, like what are you doing with your life? Like what's going on? You still live at home? Like what's, what's happening? You know what I say? I'm still in school. I get looks sometimes. People look at me like I'm crazy. Um, because they just like, why are you still in, like, how old are you? Whenever I say I'm in school, the next question is, how old are you? Because, I don't know, I guess I'm just not supposed to be in school now. My life is supposed to be on its way. Um, yeah, so I get asked that a lot, like, okay, so, sorry, give me your age again. It's like, I'm 25. Oh, okay. And now, no prospects yet and getting married. Like, I've talked about this before, like, it's just like, I'm at that point now where it's just assumed that either something's wrong with me <laughs> or something's wrong with me. Because why are you not married? Why are you not, why are you still in school? As the as the title of the video says, you guys came here to hear about motivation. Anyways, um, what I find really important, what I, what I find, what I have found to be helpful and staying motivated, honestly, is having quality people around you. You need four or five people. If you have 10 good people, kudos to you. Um, but just like three or four people who are consistent and you just need a good environment. You need a good environment. You need people who are focused, mind, mind, mind focused like you. They got goals. They're headed towards the same not even the same direction, but they're just focused. And so that's what I use to motivate me. There are people around me who are about growth and about improving themselves. And I look at those people and I'm like, wow, like I want I want to be like that person. It's definitely important to keep positive people around you, people who, ha who share the same values, people who will motivate you, people who will call you out. You definitely need people who will call you out. If there's no one around you that will call you out on your bull, there's something wrong. You need a two or three people or one person who you trust and you have to trust them enough to look at you and say, Shanika, that is some foolishness. Stop that. I have one particular friend who will call me up. Like, Shanika, that's a dumb idea. Why would you, you know what I mean? And it's not to put me down, but sometimes you need that outside voice to pull you out. Sometimes when we're making kind of like impulsive decisions. So you definitely need people sur surrounding you who are like-minded another thing that's really important is making small goals so i make a lot of short-term goals that kind of help me in my long-term process so this is definitely not easy sometimes i get so caught up in the moment of what i'm feeling that i forget that it's a process you know like okay this program is taking long like let's 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 up the credits let's let's you know let's get this done with and sometimes that's not the best thing because in this like I find sometimes, and this is a mistake I made in university, is I was so, um, I graduated and I did well, but um, I didn't enjoy it. 
I did not enjoy university. You have to love the process as much as the finish line. Because if you don't enjoy the process, the finish line is just like, oh, thank God I'm done. But when you look back, it's very blurry. And you can't pinpoint moments where you really enjoyed it. And you can take away and say, you know, I'm glad I did that. Or I'm glad I didn't do that. Like, it's, it's a blurred memory. So for my master's program, I'm really trying to take my time and just enjoy it. And if I have a bad semester... I have a bad semester and this took me and I'm still struggling with this because listen school's expensive we don't have time for bad semesters I don't have time to like mess up because it costs money out here we, we pay money for our courses um, but I'm learning to enjoy the process enjoy the moment enjoy what's happening you know what I mean because you only live once and when it's done it's done um, you know like do I want to get married of course I'm, do I want to have children of course i'm gonna have children like it's a, a given but um it's not right now it's not right now and so i have to grind and push you have to grind you have to push and my last thing i want to say before i end this video because i said i don't, don't want it to be too long is you definitely have to drown out outside noises outside of your circle Sometimes you have to drown out because people will just talk to talk. I don't know what's wrong with people. Sometimes people just, instead of saying nothing, they say something and it's the wrong something. So I find it sometimes beneficial to have on blinders, a half tunnel vision, and just zero in on what you're trying to accomplish. Because if not, you will get consumed with everyone else around you and then you lose focus on your goals. And what I say to myself is, at the end of the day, if I feel a class... I feel a class. Not my friends, not my parents. I feel a class. If I do well, I get to share that doing well with my family and my friends, but I do well. And so because of that, I can't let someone just come into my space and try to put different things in my head that will distract me. Like, you definitely have to have a goal. Um, I believe in visuals. I'm a very visual person. So there are things around my room that remind me of my goals. These are just things that remind me, like, listen, Shanika. You, you need to stay focused. And it's very, very, very hard. Like, I've broken down many, many times because you just become overwhelmed with how much things you have to do. And it just, it just feels like it's never ending. But I do want to encourage you guys for 2018 to stay focused. Um, hopefully today and this video was encouraging. I really, really hope it was encouraging. I do, I do enjoy encouraging people and motivating people. And, um... Yeah, so I hope you were encouraged and you were motivated and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.